and gentlemen, the weekend. You never know what you're going to see on this show, Maria. No, you never know. <laughs> One thing you're pretty sure to see is some sort of animal or pet all the time, right? Always. So we're big fans here. All right, well, here's a perfect story for Monday because I know I've done it a few times today. Uh, did you catch yourself at any point during the day today just kind of like zoning out? Like multiple times. Yeah, me too. Have you ever had it where like your eyes get like really comfortable in a position and you just, you don't want to move them? No, you just, you, that, that's it. Go you, ahead, you can talk. Done. I just... I know, I'm good, I'm good. Mm. Call me a cynical Grinch. Okay. But don't you think that this, now we're gonna hear the closer it gets to the holidays, we're offering deep discounts mm -hmm. to help you out. Mm -hmm. Buy it, man. <laughs> you cynical Grinch. Mostly because I just don't even want to think about it yet. I mean, it's barely October. Let us enjoy it, please. You're not disciplined. <laughs> That's true, you're 100% true, I'm not. Oh, neither am I. I've not, I've not been disciplined with anything in my whole life. <laughs> we can't be trusted. Can't Please. Really starting now? <laughs> All right, listen. This is Most Buffalo. Thanks so much for being with us. Hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm telling you what, we're in a mood. Tuesday, ugh. We are just discussing how Tuesdays are worse than Mondays. Gosh. <laughs> Someone is suing Texas Pete's hot sauce because he says it's not actually made in Texas. Ah. He says the label is deceptive mm. by using Texas imagery and including the state's Lone Star along with a cowboy. He says <sighs> it's false marketing and labeling and the company knowingly and intentionally capitalized on consumers' desire to partake in the culture and authentic cuisine of one of the most prideful states in America. <laughs> Wow, Philip, wow. you should win something just for that. <laughs> We're craziness. You said it. Did they hear me? The mic was open? The mic was open, uh -oh. my friend. We're looking ahead to what's coming up at 5 o'clock. But, yeah. of course, we always like to have a little chit-chat with Scott Levin before we do. We were talking about, about Peloton, right? Peloton, yeah. Yeah, I started my streak today, my one-day streak. One something <laughs> always happens, though, and then I get, you know, sidetracked. I'm the same way yeah. with all of that. With the, You try to work out every day and make it a habit, but I don't know. The wheels always come off for me. Mm. And then you have to have a hand. Handle name also. And I know. What would your handle name be? I'm uh, putting you on the spot. I know. I feel like it should be something Brian's mom, like, what would it be? like something to do with a tortoise because I feel like I would like don't <laughs> yell at me. It would be just something because I'd be like, just don't. I can't. What did you say, uh, Michelle, the producer? You said too legit to quit for me. Too, that would be yours. Too legit. To no, quit. no, no, no. That's not gonna work because I do quit it every couple of weeks. I stop. <laughs> Maybe you'd be motivated if you had a better I know. name. I need. I need a good name. <laughs> All right, we done? I'm watching that, and all I hear in my head is my husband's voice going, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm thinking, that sounds terrifying. Horrible. He'd be all for it, I feel like. Check out these melons, Maria. Nice. Uh, Including the forecast often. <laughs> we told you about the winner of the fat bear contest, yes. right? Well, it was none other than this guy, contestant 747. <laughs> but wait a minute. It appears something fishy was going on during this contest. Yeah. Here's a live wow. look from the National Park of the Fat Bear Contest. Yes. Well, during the semifinals, this is what they found out. Officials discovered that someone spammed the Fat Bear Week poll. Yes. They were trying to hack the election. We are talking voter fraud here, people. Un Unprecedented. Look at that guy. <laughs> Looks like he's in a hot tub. <laughs> he does look quite content, doesn't he? <gasps> but no worries, officials quickly caught on to the issue and they corrected the problem, tossing out the fraudulent votes. And in the end, the winner was, in fact, 747. So he has bragging rights for the second time in his career. <laughs> Fat Bear of the Year in Katmai National Park. And you are now looking at a live picture <laughs> of, we don't know who he is. We don't is. know who he is, but look at him, oh. And you know me, I'll complain about just about anything. Give me the opportunity. <laughs> That's how I burn calories. Oh my. <laughs> That's my cardio. I love it. Complaining is my cardio. I feel I like there's gotta be that a one. mug out there that says something like that. Oh, we gotta have a t-shirt made. <laughs> we'll yeah. have a pair of them. Get, a, get on that. I love it.